You know you've been playing too much Illusion of Gaia when you're at the grocery store looking for the cooking oil aisle and you walk right past it because you thought the sign said it was the cocaine aisle. This is the life of H.C. Bailey. And welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! We're at the Seaside Cave where, uh, we're apparently playing cards. Texas Hold'em, no limits! With our purple-haired friend. I suppose orange hair is, you know, not that much more realistic, but... Yeah, purple hair doesn't quite do it for me. I prefer the, uh, the green hair myself. And, uh, princess ran away, I guess. What is it with these princesses running away from castles in these games, you know? Couldn't they just, like, stay put like normal princesses or get captured by a dragon or something like that? Oh, okay, Princess Kara. Okay, fair enough. Liar! I'm not attracted to girls. So, uh, what do we do now, then? I could sit next to Eric, but I don't want to! Yeah, what adventures? Playing cards? That's your idea of adventure? What are we, like the Goonies? My mysterious power? What are you talking about? He can use the Force! Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't know how to do that. Spin my flute like a baton. This isn't Flag Corps, or whatever the group is of people who spin flags around at football games. Oh, okay, so just face the statue, press the R button, and you can draw statues towards you. I'm sure that ability will be will never be useful outside of this circumstance ever in the game. Nope. Never will be useful. Wait, what do you say? Oh, okay, so I can only move statues. I can't move like people who I don't like and throw them into lakes. So I'm going to be looking for the Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Well, wh what's that going to prove? Am I going to try and move the Ace of Diamonds towards me? Why? Okay, well, let's see which one is the Ace of Diamonds, just in case I pick the wrong one. And it's the Ace of Diamonds. I've got psychic powers. Wait a minute. Let me try that again. Hey. They're all Ace of Diamonds. That doesn't make me psychic. That just means you put a whole bunch of Ace of Diamond cards on the floor. <laughs> no, no, that's the way the uh, game sets it up for you so you never uh, screw it up. Instead of giving you a but thou must situation. Okay, so I'm psychic and telekinetic. Uh, I, I don't think that'll ever be useful, is it? I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Let's go home for the night. Apparently it's uh, dark, so let's see if I can't get uh, that item that that fisherman has. Just basically walk in the cave, walk out of the cave. Maybe the fisherman will show up right around here with a pot next to him, hopefully. So I'll try this a few times, and obviously I'll off-screen uh, however many times it takes me to uh, get the item to appear here. Okay, here we go. We got it. I, I almost went back in there. I would have been like, no! Yay, we got a red jewel. All you have to do is basically just go in and out, in and out, over and over and over again, and you can get the red jewel. You must get this red jewel now. If you wait until, well, too much later in the game, you can never get it, and you will never be able to get all 150 red jewels. So uh, let's take that one to uh, Gem, the jeweler because uh, now we would have gotten three red jewels, so we can get an item from him. Let's uh, give him another one, and yay, more than three. Well, never mind, whatever. Yay, we got an herb. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Now, there's only 12 herbs in the game, 
So, and you can't like, there's no like infinite supply of them, which you would eventually come into. So, uh, you know, you can only have 12, so use them carefully if this is like your first time playing it. But like, I would say if you start like getting more than five, like six or more, then you should probably, uh, you know, uh, start using them because, you know, you've got so many, why bother holding on to any more? Before returning home, there's one guy I think I forgot to talk to. This guy. He tells you how to run. You've probably seen me running around. You have to push the control pad in whatever direction you're going twice. So press up, up twice, down twice, right twice, whatever you want. That's how you run. Otherwise, you'll be walking everywhere you go. Uh-oh. There's a pig in my house. Someone broke in here. I actually thought someone uh, broke into my house this morning. True story, I, I woke up and I heard the water running. And I, th I thought I was alone that night and that one of two things was possible. Either a pipe burst or my home was struck by the wet bandits. No, not really, it was just my, uh, my fiance who came over, but still, you know, it was a little scary. I thought I was home alone, but no, not really. And apparently, Princess Kara has come to our house for no apparent reason. Do I have to say it? Do I really, viewers? Well, excuse me, princess. Uh, they're dead. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of dead. As opposed to being mostly dead. Or all dead. Well, gee, you think? It's a little short for a princess. Uh, okay. Okay, well, let's check it out. Oh, okay, so they're singing opera in a tiny room with one bed. Why do they forget to put, like, more beds if they're going to go through all this elaborate detail, like with a uh, nightstand and a cabinet? I don't know what they'd use a cabinet for, but... Oh, so that's why you fell in love with her, for her singing voice. By the way, I have a recording of a talented voice. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh, so the princess was singing. How was she singing? No! What's going on? Oh, I stubbed my toe. Darn. No, no. Uh-oh, some soldiers have come to kidnap her. We've got to stop them. Oh, I think you've already lost your head, but other than that... So, the king is kidnapping her own, or his own daughter. I suppose I should be a little more surprised that a princess has a pig for a pet. But, you know, this is Illusion of Gaia. After playing Soul Blazer, nothing surprises me anymore, viewers. Uh, how is that a practical joke? Oh, it's a viaduct, huh? What is a viaduct, anyway? Oh, they have a prison there, huh? Well, that's not very nice. Okay, yeah, let's go upstairs and have some pie. And licorice and rice. Not a big fan of licorice, I'll be honest with you, viewers. And we eat some snail pie. What is it with these games and snails? I'm sure that wasn't a premonition or anything like that. I mean, I know Will's psychic, but he's not, uh... Well, maybe that doesn't necessarily include, uh, having premonitions. I don't know. Oh, we got a letter, huh? Crystal ring, bring it to the king. Okay. Well, I suppose that's fair enough. Oh, it's a nice little tune. I, I have a flute to play it with, I guess. Is that what you were singing a little while ago? 
Hmm. Okay. Well, fair enough. Yay, we learned Lola's melody. We can play it on our flute now. Kind of like the ocarina thing. Except, well, they didn't have ocarinas back when this was made. Huh. So, where is that crystal ring? And what will happen if we fail to bring it to King Edward? Find out next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I promise there will be some action next time, viewers.